saying that you did not feel the need to kill Paul Crookshank at the time the bullet went through his head? I'm saying it happened before I decided to do it. Before you decided to do it? Right. June? I did not decide to shoot, so it happened beforehand. When, according to your testimony, yes, ma'am. Just listening to you, according to your testimony, we can agree that at the time the gun went off, you did not feel threatened to the point where you believed you had to kill Paul. You're saying it's an accidental discharge, right? I'm saying it was an unplanned. It happened before. Unplanned. Well, you told law enforcement, in fact, that it was an accidental discharge. Those are the words that I used, yes. Okay. So you say it's an accidental discharge. So if something's an accident, then you're not intentionally shooting someone because you believe that you need to. Yeah, I did not shoot him. Because you believed you needed to to save your life. No, I did not shoot him, so I didn't shoot him for any reason. Okay. So, <clears throat> you, your testimony is then you walk outside and that you were pushed from behind? I don't know exactly how he hit me. Well, you know he didn't, in fact, use his fists to hit you, right? I don't know any such thing. Didn't you tell law enforcement that you were pushed from behind? I told them that I was struck from behind. I might have used the word push at one time. All right. And in fact, that you um, hit the deck, which we all know now that you mean hit the ground. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So so if it was pushed, if you said push before, um, maybe you're changing it to hit now, but something from behind happened and you hit the ground. Yes. And that's when you think you injured your lip? I believe so, yes. All right. Well, were you face first on the ground? I believe I went to the ground face first, yes. Did you put out your hands to stop you as you were falling down? I'm not sure I was stunned when I was struck from behind. Well, you agree that there's no sign of injury to your hands whatsoever, correct? Your palms? No, I don't believe that they were injured. All right, so you agree that had you gone face first and, and, I'm sorry, put your hands down to break your fall, your fall on that concrete, that we, there should be signs of scrapings and injuries to your palms, correct? I agree there could have been. Well, in fact, you told law enforcement that you didn't break your fall, is what you told. I said I don't believe I had a chance to break my fall, but yes. And then that's how this happened, is what you said? Yes, I believe so. All right, so your, your testimony is that you were pushed from behind, you hit the ground without breaking your fall, and you hit your lip. It all happened at once. I can't give you a blow by blow. Will you agree with me if you're going face first with the full weight of your body, smashing it on concrete, that it's likely you maybe would hit your nose or something other than just your lip? I, I believe it's possible I could have hit a number of different ways. I don't, I don't know exactly. I didn't see it. You agree that it makes sense that if you're falling face first without breaking your fall on concrete, that you would have more than just a little foul? No, I don't agree with you. Sorry. Okay. All right. That you were facing the building while Paul Kirkshank was facing the road. That is correct. All right. And then your testimony is that you pulled out your firearm from your right side? Yes, ma'am. My right, my right hip. And you are right-handed. I am right-handed. You have a holster in on your right side this night, correct? On that night, that's correct. That holster goes inside your pants with your shirt hanging over it, correct? That is correct. Um, and you're proficient with that firearm. You've gone shooting with your father at the gun range. That's session. true, yes. All right. So you know how to fire that firearm. Yes, I do. You've had that firearm for a year and a half, correct? I think that's close, yes. And so you know when you, you pull out that firearm um, from the right side and you point someone, pointed at someone, you know the potential that that firearm has, right? Yes, I do. Okay. So at this point, your testimony is you pull the gun and for a second Paul waits and says, oh, he's not going to shoot me, so now he goes forward towards you. I, I don't know exactly what he was thinking. Right. Well, you said he charged you, right? He was coming towards me, yes. Okay. And then he grabbed me. 
And you said that you were backing up. I was backing up initially. So you would be backing up towards King Street, getting further and further away from Giggling Gator, right? I'd have to know which time you were talking about different things happening at different times. I'm talking about when you pulled your fire and pointed it at Paul Crookshank. I don't believe I was any longer backing up. All right, so when you pulled your fire and you weren't backing up. I backed up to that position. And that position at that point was the middle of the Giggling Gator? I don't know exactly where it was. It was in a lot. At what point were you backing up? When I scrambled up from the ground after having been knocked down. And how far did you get when you backed up? I couldn't say. A couple of steps. I don't know how far into the lot I went, but I know it was into the lot. Okay. And so at that point, is he back and forth? Yeah, at that point, he got his hands on the gun. I yanked my hand free and tried to hit him with it. I tried to smash him in the head with the gun. Okay, so he's now over here grabbing the gun. This is in your right hand the whole time, correct? Well, I had to let go of it when I yanked it free. Okay, so you didn't do that. Okay, so now he's grabbing for the gun, and then where are you in the parking lot? When I pulled away, I pulled back into the corner. So now you're in the corner, but you're still on the ground? I mean, you're still standing up? Yes, ma'am. At what point did you go to the ground? When I was going back towards the little corner where we ended up, he lunged at me and we stumbled onto the ground. And so you say you fell and you fell on top of him? No, I don't believe that's what I said. All right, what did you say? I said I was going back into the corner and he lunged at me and the two of us went down to the ground. So that would mean that I would have gone backwards and he would have come down on top of me. Okay, so now you're both on the ground again. You're both on the ground. <coughs> you we both, again. yes, we both ended up on the ground. Okay. And at this point, you say you're struggling, rolling around? At that point, I landed on my back. He landed on top of me. And then at some point, we rolled off. And it was pretty chaotic at that point. You still have the gun in your hand? I have the gun in my hand. And? I was trying to point it at him. All right. You agree that you were swinging? And, and at some points, I was trying to swing at him. At other points, I was trying to point the gun at him. Completely chaotic. Chaotic, yes. No accidental discharge. There was no accidental discharge until we were struggling on the ground. Okay. Well, let's talk about that. You heard the testimony that the ground is coquina, correct? Yes, ma'am. All right. So we already know that. Yes. What position are you laying in? We were facing each other. I was pointing the gun at him. He was trying to grab it. <coughs> when you're facing each other, are you on the ground between the car and that deck? Yes, ma'am. And are you closest to the car, or is Paul closest to the car? I'm closest to the car. So you're closest to the car. And is your head on the east side, facing east? Yeah, that's correct. All right, and so your legs would be outside, um, kind of maybe sticking out outside <coughs> the car. I believe so. Okay, so your testimony is you two are face-to-face, -face, struggling for the gun. We were face-to-face. -face. I was trying to point the gun at him. He was trying to keep him from pointing the gun at him. And is that when the gun went off? That is the time around then that the gun went off. All right. So your position, you believe, is you two were face to face when the gun went off? We were both on the ground, facing each other. Yes, that's correct. Just as you just described it. That is something like that. I don't want something like that. I want you to tell us. That, tell that us is the closest want. I can tell you. That is as close as I can tell you. We were on the ground struggling over the gun. I can't tell you exactly what position I was in in respect to any. All right. That's what you think face-to-face, -face, on the ground, you closest to the car. That's correct. All 